Training and Life Coaching Institute. Today, what I'd love to share with you are three top tips in regards to empowering your life. Now, if you're a leader in business, I encourage you to share these tips with your team so that they too can empower their life and achieve more and be more in the business. Now, let's get stuck into it. The first tip I wanna talk about is taking responsibility. So you'll see up here, I'm talking about taking responsibility for all of your actions and non-actions in your life. Now, it's quite easy to take responsibility for all the great things that you create in your life. But what about when you make mistakes? What about when you make decisions that don't have a great outcome? What about when you behave badly? Now, that's where the power is. The power is, regardless of the outcome, you take responsibility for every action and non-action in your life. Now you have the choice, of course, of not doing that. And by not taking responsibility, you can always lay blame on a, a, some other person, or you can lay blame on outside influences. You can do all of that, but where's the empowerment in that? So when you're taking responsibility for your actions and your non-actions, you're really taking ownership of your life. And that's the key to taking responsibility. The second tip that I wanna talk about is honoring your word. Now, how many of you out there have had a goal and you really, really, really wanted that goal? And perhaps you've had that goal in the past, but your gut feel is telling you you can't achieve it. Now, that may be because you have broken a promise with yourself in the past, and therefore, you haven't got that sense of trust within yourself to follow through with the goal that you want to achieve. So by honoring your word to yourself and to others, it's extremely important to create trust within yourself and trust and credibility to others. Now, when you're honouring your word, it's about being transparent. It's about being authentic. Again, when you're not following your word and you, you don't follow through with something that you said that you would, then it's about standing up and owning that. Now, there's been things that happen in people's lives and I know that sometimes, I remember I, I actually got offered a role with a big company and the owner of the company, who's, who is a lovely man, was talking to me about coming on board with the business and I remember having the conversation in regards to money and he was very uneasy in regards to what he was wanting to put forward for the offer and I asked him to think about it and get back to me with a proposal that I I could consider. Now he felt very uneasy about that and what eventually happened was he didn't actually return my call. He decided that he would hide from making that decision. It was a challenging conversation to have. So therefore he made up his mind that I'd rather hide and pretend it's not there because I put it in the too hard basket because I don't wanna have myself having this challenging conversation with this person. So I ask yourself, how many challenging conversations have you put off and because you haven't stuck to your word? And so therefore it's like, well, I'll pretend it's not there. So you disregard it or you say to yourself, actually it, didn't, it really didn't mean a lot to me. You know, the other day I said to myself, I made my, a promise to myself that I would wake up and go for a walk. Now lying in bed, just when I was supposed to get up and I was telling myself all these excuses, oh, stay in bed, Janelle, because you've worked really hard. Stay in bed, Janelle, because you can actually have a walk later in the afternoon. I made so many excuses for breaking my word and I ended up breaking my word. I didn't go for my walk. And then it felt, I felt uneasy all day because I knew that I broke my word to myself. So by honoring your word, you create this trust within yourself. And the key to this is that there will be some times where you don't honor your word. And it's about noticing what happens when that happens for you. What do you say to yourself? How do you feel? 
because it's about having a strategy in regards to when you're not honouring your word, being able to say, hey, this is how I felt, and therefore pushing you forward to ensure that there's more times that you honour your word than not, and that's the key to that. The third one is accountability partnerships. So it's about being able to say, I have got a team of people, it could only be maybe one person, that will be my raving fan, someone that's going to hold me accountable for the goals that I want to achieve. And by holding you accountable, they're going to challenge you. So if you say, guess what, accountability partner, I'm getting up four times a week and going for a walk. And when you do, they are championing you. They are saying, well done, good on you. But when you don't, they're going to challenge you. So make sure that you're coachable. You're the one that's going to, your ego takes a back step here. When you've got an accountability partner, they're the person that's going to hold you to your word. They're going to stand for you, even when you don't stand for yourself. So accountability partner is someone that is really on your team, on your side, however will challenge you if you don't follow through with your word. And those three key areas, so taking responsibility, honouring your word and the promises that you make yourself and to others, and having an accountability partner that's going to stand for you, championing you when you're achieving your results and standing by you and challenging you when you don't. So those top tips are what I'd love to offer you this week. Follow through with those and I'd love to hear some outcomes of what you're going to achieve this week from those great tips. Have a fantastic week and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.